we'll see what happens when, you know, I know the commissioner said the Super Bowl next year is going to be a test for future cold weather sites. I'm just, you know, you might as well put it in the Antarctic for all I care. I'm, I'm just not, you know, I don't want to watch a game in bad conditions. I don't, you know, I don't want to sit in the, in the, in the cold. I remember, um, I think it was Easter. My mother said me and my best friend, we went to Yankee Stadium for a doubleheader. And we went to, we went to Easter Mass. And then we went straight to the ballpark. We didn't have time to change. And I, I still remember, I had a seersucker suit on, which is like made out of tissue paper. And it was one of those days where it was a beautiful, sunny summer afternoon or, you know, spring afternoon. And like by the fifth inning, sixth inning of the second game, we're looking at each other like, we got to get the hell out of here. It's freezing. The temperature just is one of those weird days. The temperature just dropped. It was uncomfortable. I don't care how much hot chocolate and, 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 and hot dogs you want to eat. I want to go home. It's cold. I mean, oh, man up, Tony. I don't care. I don't like cold weather. They, you know, and I, you know, and the last thing you need. What's the worst thing that can happen if you go to a football game and it's sunny out? You forget to wear a hat. You're bald. You get a, you get, you get the, the bad suntan. You get a, you get a, you get a sunburn on the top of your head. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want people going to a game where it's a blizzard condition, where somebody might get frostbite, somebody's car goes off the road, uh, the, it's, something goes wrong. Well, that's, that's to be determined a year from now. Well, hopefully, like I said, we got a game, hopefully tomorrow, one for the ages that we can all talk about and remember for years.